Hi, I'm Mike Patrick, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, prayer postures. Uh, Christians pray everywhere, all the time. We pray when we're driving our cars or trucks. We pray when we're uh, chasing a toddler, uh, building a fence, repairing the house, or, or doing all sorts of things. We find ourselves in prayer. However, when we choose to really be still and to be quiet and to listen to God, um, we might choose one of several of the prayer postures we'd like to discuss. The first and the most practiced prayer posture uh, in the east, part, eastern part of the world, is a person standing with their arms outstretched, their palms open and up towards heaven. That posture is called orans, or Latin for praying. But in Western cultures, the clergy practices this po posture when blessing uh, maybe the wine and the bread during the Eucharist. The second posture also finds uh, the petitioner standing, but with the eyes closed or averted. But their hands are clasped at their waist. Um, this was typical of a stance of submission. The humble tax collector stood in this posture and, quote, would not even look up to heaven, Luke 18. This posture occurs in many Western churches at the close of the corporate worship. The third, the kneeling posture, was typical when begging for a favor in front of a king or pledging their submission or obedience. The eyes could be looking up or may be closed. This became the traditional posture for reverence, repentance, and request. You know, in Jesus' story, when a servant begs a master to forgive his debt, uh, the servant kneels. That's in Matthew 18, 26. Jesus knelt in the garden as he sought release from God's assignment on the cross. That was the night before his crucifixion. Luke 22. Some Western churches have kneeling rails that allow for worshipers to kneel between the pews, and some have the same uh, kneelers uh, at the front for the congregation. Another, the fourth way uh, is to pray in a prostate or prone position, lie on our stomach with our eyes averted or closed. This posture became the traditional posture of the desperate. The repentant, or intercessor, it's an intercessory type prayer. Many uh, members of Eastern churches have plenty of room, and they are able to, to accommodate that type of prostate prayer during services. Uh, God, uh, God's word tells us he fell on his face to the ground and prayed, speaking of Jesus, in Matthew 26. The fifth type of prayer posture uh, that we're focused on today is shows humility. Most, most Western churches sit in pews with heads bowed and hands folded during prayer. Praying while seated became more common with the invention of the pew, and I never thought about inventing a pew, but it happened. And I'm glad it did. Pews became a standard item in church furniture, but guess what? This is a good posture. David set for prayer. We see that in 2 Samuel 7, 18. But whatever a person chooses for prayer posture uh, will depend a lot on the place of worship, their energy level at that time, and if the prayers are public or private. But the most important message of all of this is don't just stand there. Pray. Thank you.